you said you worked more closely with the protectmarriage.com people during what you call the petition phase as opposed to what you call the campaign phase. Do you recall that? Yes. Uh, when did the campaign phase, as you describe it, start? I say the in the fall in the fall of 2008 yeah um uh well let me let me ask you to look at um plaintiff's exhibit 2472 okay this is an email that you wrote um, February 14, 2008. Is that correct? Yes. And um, uh, in it, uh, you talk about your opportunity to publicize what you refer to as our Protect Marriage Amendment on television. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I, did you view this as part of the campaign phase? Probably not, because if it is in the campaign phase, it would have, you know, everybody know about it. I don't have to publicize it. Um, well, I uh, refer to the debate that you had with, uh, that was broadcast by Channel 26. I mean, that was a debate that certainly people, everybody knew about, right? Yes. Because um, protectmarriage.com had told you to do it, right? Remember? Yes. Uh, so they knew about that. Was that part of the campaign phase? Yes, there was, I think, in October. Um, uh, let me ask you to um, uh, look at uh, Plaintiff's Exhibit 2633 that we dealt with before. Twenty six thirty three. Twenty six thirty three. Okay. It's the it's the statement of unity. And Your Honor, I think I did not offer it earlier, but I will offer it at this time. Twenty six thirty three. Yes. Very well. If it has not previously been it, been admitted, it shall be. Now this is July 21, 2008, correct? Yes. And um, um, was this part of the campaign phase? I say, yeah, that's the initial, yeah, the starting point. This is the starting point of the campaign phase. Is could that what be. You're saying? Yeah, could be. Um, uh, let me ask you to. Um, uh, look at Plaintiff's Exhibit 2631. All right. This is um, in early August of 2008, correct? Yes. And this shows you attending the uh, weekly grassroots uh, conference, correct? Mm-hmm, yes. And... Um, this was certainly part of the campaign phase, correct? Yes. Did you say 2631? 2631, yes. Of which I would offer, Your Honor. No objection. 2631 is admitted. And uh, you told counsel... On, uh, on, on cross examination, that you only met with people from Schubert, Flint, a few times. Remember that? Met them? No, I did not meet them. And it was very rare contact with Schubert, Flint, one or two times. Do you remember telling that to your counsel? Yeah. Now, Schubert Flint were running these weekly conference calls, right? 
I did not know who runs it, really. Well, um, uh, Exhibit 2631 came from Schubert Flint, correct? correct? Yes. And you knew that Schubert Flint was running the ProtectMarriage.com campaign, correct? Yes. Um, and these calls went on every week, correct, sir? Yes. You participated in them every week, correct, sir? Uh, not every week. I think I have done six or seven, something like that. And each one of those six or seven um, were ones that Schubert Flint was on, correct? Frankly, I I don't know who was on. <laughs> they all sound alike. <laughs> uh, I'm very bad in recognizing names and relate to their to their uh, voice, especially so many people are talking. And, well, sir, and English is not my mother tongue. Well, sir, let's let, let's get a couple of things straight. First, when you received notices of these calls, it came from Schubert Flint, correct? And when you received minutes of the calls, it came from Schubert Flint, correct? Ah. Uh, I know it's from from their company. For example, Plaintiff's Exhibit 2630. All right. Did I ha offer Plaintiff's Exhibit 2631? You did. Thank you. It's in. Thank you. Um, um, and Exhibit 2630 is minutes of that uh, conference call uh, that Schubert Flint then sent you, correct? Yes. Um, and if you um, look at um, Plaintiff's Exhibit 2599, yes. um, this is again uh, minutes of a uh, grassroots meeting, uh, a weekly grassroots meeting that you're getting from Schubert Flint, correct? Yes. And this is during the campaign phase, correct? Yes. And you'll recall that this is the one that talks about you and talks about a website being up of one man and one woman uh, dot com. I think it means dot net. I yeah. sometimes make that mistake myself. You see that? Yes. Uh, Your Honor, I would offer uh, Plaintiff's Exhibit 2599. Very well, 2599 is it? <clears throat> and if you would look at Exhibit 2504. This is October 29, 2008, correct? Yes. And um, uh, this is during the campaign phase, correct? Yes. And these are communications between uh, you and um, protectmarriage.com, correct? Yes. Uh, Your Honor, I would offer Plaintiff's Exhibit 2504. Very well. There have been some redactions here. <coughs> uh, is that material? Your Honor, um, uh, the, reaction, the redactions might be material to permit the court to evaluate the extent of the contact. Um, and I would ask the court in camera uh, look at the uh, look at the names. Your Honor, I as well. I only have a redacted version, and, and um, I think we would need to see it to evaluate whether it's in fact somebody with protectmarriage.com. We would we need to see the name to be able to evaluate whether it is even somebody with protectmarriage.com. 
can um, can you submit an unredacted copy? I believe it's been submitted to them. Um, I didn't do these redactions. We will work with counsel, and we will be sure that the court gets an unredacted copy. Very well. Then <coughs> 2504 will be admitted. Um, and would you look at plaintiff's exhibit 2185, Dr. Tan? Okay. Um, this is um, uh, a TFC news bulletin, correct? Yes. And um, uh, this uh, follows the uh, passage of uh, Proposition 8, correct? Yes. And um, uh, if you look at the page that is marked Defent PM 5077 at the bottom, yes. it says that the traditional family coalition, coalition during 2008 was allied with protectmarriage.com. Do you see that? Could you point to where I can see? Where, where uh, you is? see the box in the right hand side? It says Traditional Family Coalition 2008 yes, Historical yes, Event. Yes, I see that, yeah. Where it's, the first one is Allied with ProtectMarriage.com. Yes. Uh, I would offer Exhibit 2185. Very well, 2185 is um, And if I did not, I think I didn't, may not have offered it. I would offer plaintiff's exhibit 2630. All right. If not previously admitted, 2630 is it? Um, and uh, with respect, would you look at um, plaintiff's exhibit 2187? Uh, with respect to your uh, assertion that you were not closely working with protectmarriage.com during the campaign phase. Uh, October of 2008 was clearly during the campaign phase, correct? Yes. And um, this is a flyer that was sponsored by Traditional Family Coalition, your organization, and co-sponsored by protectmarriage.com, correct? Yes. And this was the one that you asked Mr. Prentice to speak at, correct? Yes. And uh, during the uh, during the campaign phase, um, uh, protectmarriage.com um, uh, reimbursed you for your expenses of television, radio, and print advertisements. Correct? Uh, they reimbursed, uh, not me. They reimbursed the people the organization uh, <coughs> based some ads for protect marriage. I'm sorry, say that one more time. Who did they reimburse? They reimbursed uh, the people who run some ads, uh, TV ads or uh, newspaper ads. Is this traditional family coalition that they are reimbursing? No. These are the people. There were some uh, Chinese uh, Christians who offered to uh, put some advertisement uh, for Prop 8. But then they don't know how to do it. So, uh, yeah. Let me, let me ask you to look at uh, Plaintiff's Exhibit 2627. Uh, this is an email that you got from... Um, um, uh, Mr. Puno of protectmarriage.com, correct? Right. 
And this is uh, dated October 27, 2008, correct? Yes. I would offer Exhibit 2627, Plaintiff's Exhibit 2627. 12, 26, 27 is admitted. <clears throat> and uh, this is addressed um, uh, to multiple people, but one of them is Traditional Family Coalition, correct? Yes. And it says at the top, Bill and Peter, and you are the bill, correct? Yes. And it says your organizations. Right are spending approximately $50,000 to place TV, radio, and print advertising with Asian media. You see that? Yes. And your organizations referred to Peter's organization and your organization, correct? Uh, it looks like he was referring to that, but my organization did not do any of the TV or whatever ad. Is Peters, but then I introduce Peter to uh, Andy so that they can work those things out because I don't want to get involved with those. Well, well, sir, this doesn't say this isn't just addressed to Peter. It doesn't just say your organization. It's just to both of you and says your organizations plural, correct? Yeah, that's what it is here. And you're saying that was just wrong? Right. Um, uh, is there anything in writing uh, where you correct that? Did you send them back an email that says, no, my organization is not spending any of this money? Uh, once again, I... Just asking you whether you did it or not. No, I did not. Uh, I, I, whether I, there's a S after organization to me, as a Chinese, I never knew that I have to face a lawyer asking me this kind of question. So I never bothered to, 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 to specify, hey, you are, you are saying this S is wrong, you know. So when you get emails, you often reply to them, correct? Not I really. Seen, we've seen some of yours. Yeah, sometimes I reply some some of the things I don't reply. Sir, all I'm doing is I'm just asking. See, you're saying today that this is wrong, and I'm just trying to figure out whether there's anything that's written down contemporaneously that supports that or not. Whether there's anything that could support your testimony. That's all I'm asking. No, I, I did not reply to it. And correcting how many organizations are doing that or, you know, that I'm not involved in this Uh, incidentally, um, you worked closely with, with Peter, did you not, in organizing things in support of protectmarriage.com? Uh, no, not really, because only I worked with him in organizing the rally, but in terms of uh, he runs a lot of the show. Out of what show? Well, like the rally, the uh, the putting out the uh, the, pamph the 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 flyer. I did not do those kind of things. You worked with him in doing those thing, kind of things, didn't you? I mean, for example, you and he were both the contacts for the press invitation for the rally, correct? That's true. Yeah. And your organization. Sponsor of the rally, correct? Yes. Um, um, I've got just two more questions. The first is your testimony that you were not involved in the formulation of campaign strategy and messaging for protectmarriage.com. Is that your testimony? That's correct. And I think you testified earlier that based on the knowledge of what a core group means that you've picked up, um, uh, you didn't think you were part of the core group. Is that correct? Oh. 
am I correct that you're correct. not part of the core group according to your current testimony? I, I'm not the core group. Okay. Um, uh, during the break, uh, did you talk to anybody about your testimony? Uh, my lawyer. Talk to your lawyer. Uh, what did uh, what did you say to your lawyer? I said I felt like a naughty boy being put in front of a classroom and being mocked at. What did your lawyer say to you? To your he laughed. Um, my last question, Dr. Tam. Um, you've indicated earlier that you thought you were a minority. Remember that? Yes. And um, you're aware that there were uh, periods, unfortunate periods in our history, when um, uh, Asian Americans uh, were limited in who they could marry. You know that? Yes. And I take it if those laws were present today, you would feel very aggrieved by those laws, would you not? If you couldn't, if you couldn't marry the person you loved. Okay. Thank you. He's answered. Section overruled. Very well, Mr. Tam. Thank you for your testimony, sir. You may step down. Well, counsel, what do we have in store tomorrow? Tomorrow, Your Honor, uh, we will be calling Dr. Herrick as our last witness, I believe. We do have some document issues concerning documents that have been produced, some of which were the Prentice documents. We're hoping we don't have to call Mr. Prentice to authenticate them. And, but we're, we're, those are the last two things on our agenda and then some just cleanup issues on exhibits. And have you approached your opposite number about those documents? I, I believe that process is unfolding. So we're ah, trying, trying to ease things. Mr. Dussault is handling that? We've been exchanging specific lists of all the exhibit numbers in an effort to minimize any disagreement. Good. Well, and you're exchanging that with Ms. Moss, are you? Yes. Yeah. Well, it looks like things are in good hands. <laughs> Very well. Anything further? Nothing further, Your Honor. I beg your pardon? Nothing further, Your Honor. All right. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8.30.